I've put together a bunch of material. And so you're going to see some of these things the same way I look at them. I have some of the tools that I use to look at the data. And I'm going to expose it right in that same format. So I'm not, I didn't do, well, I have a few pre-canned little videos. But uh, most of them are the things that I do when I'm actually looking at what's happening myself. So that's the format. Let's just get into it. And I wanted to start off with three short little videos just to remind you what happened and give you a, a sense. And we're going to be talking about uh, the North Tower, the South Tower, and Building 7. So here is... First of all, a little video about the South Tower, which is the second tower hit, but it's the first one that came down. And notice it sort of tips over as it comes down, as the top part tips over, and yet the rest of the building came down anyway. This, so all these are just different views of the same incident. And this is the initiation of the collapse right here. Um, okay, I, do, I don't memorize little details like this. It's around an hour, I believe, 56 minutes, and the other one is about an hour and a half, more or less. I just had those round numbers in my head. Somebody have the exact numbers there? Okay, so hour and a half-ish, right? And then the third building, Building 7, came down at 5.20 in the evening, or afternoon, whatever you consider 5.20 to be. Notice the liquid metal pouring out of the walls here. All right. There's a lot of discussion. Basically, it looks like molten iron or molten steel. Uh, some people try to claim it's molten aluminum, but molten aluminum in the air looks silvery at those temperatures. So... Good question. Or maybe it's not a good question. Maybe it's a, a way of evading the question. And one of the things I've done some looking at is these things that go shooting out ahead of the debris. Okay, that was the South Tower. Here comes the North Tower. Well, that wasn't supposed to do that. Let's try that again. North Tower, you can tell because it has the antenna on top. You can also tell because it's the only tower in the scene when it comes down, because the other one's already gone. And it tended to come much more straight down. It actually tipped a little bit, but uh, sort of away from us. Uh, but nowhere near what the South Tower did, at least initially. And I've spent a, a good deal of effort... Um, analyzing this particular collapse. And here's a more distant view. And I'm going to be coming back to details about these uh, as we go through the evening here. Notice little squibs shooting out the sides. Well, little jets, uh, look at a lot of them here. They call it, yeah, it looks like explosions. Uh, coming out the sides. It, it, they're pretty obviously explosions, if you ask most uh, observers. But uh, pretty much everything you see, uh, people have devised ra uh, elaborate rationalizations on how it's something else. So uh, a lot of what we're trying to do is abs here it went again. We're trying to absolutely nail down the true nature of what was happening. It was about 100 meters uh, due, pretty much due north of the North Tower. So in this view right here, the North Tower would have been uh, just beyond where the building is we saw. It would have been just to the right of the building from here. It was also the furthest building away before we collapsed. Yeah. And it was not hit by an airplane. What is there to fear? Fire. Well, we'll come to that. But uh, good question, isn't it? You want to see that one again? How many of you had seen, how many of you, this is a good question, most audiences where this stuff is presented, there's a substantial fraction. How many of you until tonight had not seen Building 7 come down? Okay, now turn around and look at the hands, folks. And one of the questions you need to ask yourself is, 
how could we be this far into this whole episode and have a significant number of alert, active, knowledgeable people who read the paper and follow the news not be aware of this building coming down? I mean, that in itself says something. Okay. Did anybody ever did anybody catch it, uh, uh, watch it that afternoon? On, I actually did. I'd come home from Tulare and I was oh. watching CBS and I actually saw the new reporting that said it was going down. And I never put <clears> two and two together. It was shown on TV the first day. And that was it. That was it. Did you ask whether we were aware of it? Oh, well, how many of you were not aware of it coming down? How many had ever seen it? So you had not seen it come down, right? I'm going to play it one more time. Notice that it came down in a very different way than the two towers. That's another good question. They say no. But then again, there's some evidence that yes. Okay, so... There's all kinds of things going on. There is evidence that it was, uh, for, there's evidence of foreknowledge as early as like 10 in the morning. And there's, uh, there's actually, there's a famous video that's on YouTube. I didn't take a clip tonight. Excuse me? There's a famous video on YouTube that has uh, a group of firefighters around a payphone. And they're trying to call home and tell their families they're okay. And while they're standing there, you hear this loud explosion. And then they get together and say, the building is talking about building seven. Yeah, seven, you know, is, is doing that. They say, anyway, they're just talking about this. It has recently been verified by people who found the payphone that they called from. And, um, like, they verified the different things in the scene that they could nail it. This is the payphone. It's a couple blocks away. And from the direction of sunlight, that explosion that you hear happened before noon. It was sometime in the, probably after the second building had come down, but prior to noon, based on the sun. So, in other words, there's already ex evidence of explosions in Building 7 that early in the morning. So, these, if you go to, get on YouTube, is um, a great video source. But anyway, let's, uh, okay. I'm going to do this again. Alright, I'm going to start it again. I, this is a, a new <laughs> system for me, so I'm going to, all right, I'm going to pause it here. The building was not hit by a plane. It came down at 520 on 9-11. The official explanation is it collapsed after a single column buckled, and then that supposedly started a cascading effect with columns. But now, given the idea of a column failing leading to other columns failing, try to put that in your head with what you see here. Here we go. Notice the, there's a little kink in the roof line. There's a little folding going on. But essentially, the roof line is horizontal, and it just comes down. And unlike the towers, where the explosions begin at the top and spray material all over the place, like 600 feet away, some of the material from the towers were ejected as far as 600 feet. Uh, and I have timed some of them. I've done some re-timing. Anyway, it's safe to say that stuff was major... Uh, 